What's going on, crew? Welcome back into the Oklahoma Ranch. Guys, we've got some straw to pick up, and I've got a question for you here. Are we doing case or versatile? We'll look more into this in a bit. Stick around. We'll see you in a sec. Let's get to work. Pitter patter. <laughs> Yeah, so we got to talk about this a little bit. Case, or, or I mean, the Steiger King. We are the Steiger King, so um, that that's a thing, I suppose. Anyways, we've got the old Steiger 450 STX Raider Rock here. We're going to be picking up some straw. Uh, we've got to get stuff ready for our animals here. We've got a little bit of straw to pick up. Not a ton, but definitely a little bit. Drop this head down. There we go. And in we go. Now, this is a little bit overkill, of course. The Steiger here is, uh, but it's only 450. We do have a Challenger out here on the ranch as well. But uh, you know what? I find it's a little underpowered for uh, for this this loading wagon. Just a little bit. It's not. It can do it. It's just not pleasant. I, I like to make things a little bit easier for myself at times. So we brought the Steiger down here, and it's definitely uh, definitely a little bit more conducive to this type of work. I just got to be a little bit cautious as we kind of wrap it around the corners, make sure we don't get uh, bound up on ourselves. Of course, with this articulating tractor, you never know what's going to happen. So just take her easy when we hit the corners, but we're good. Awesome. All right, so we're gonna pick up all the straw off this field. I gotta cart that back. We got a silo where we're storing all the straw, all our hay. Uh, that's all going in that. We've got silage bales. We're gonna do some feeding today. We got some cattle to feed, and then we're gonna kind of do a little bit of a comparison. We'll look over the Steiger here, and well, our versatile. And we gotta talk. Like, should we do vers? I don't know. Like, I've, I've been tempted to do more versatile out here. They're both great trackers. Don't get me wrong, but. The Versatile is our big boy. It's the 610, whereas this case is just the 450. In fact, you know what? Go down in the comments below. Check out the description. We'll put a poll down there. Case or Versatile? Just for funsies. What do you guys think? Case or Versatile? I think there's going to be more Steiger in the, in the chat, right? We're going to have more Steiger. Anyways, put it down in the comments. Put your vote in. Drop a comment down below on what's your favorite. Uh, do, you have, do you even have a Versatile? That's half the question right now. Oh, we're almost full. Time to go back to the farm. I'm almost tempted to bail this just for speed's sake, guys. We're only about a quarter, we're a quarter section over from our farm. Uh, yeah, this should be the road here. This is one of our, some of our main fields straight ahead of us here. But it's still, it takes us such a long time to get back and forth. If I bailed it, would it be much faster? I mean, we do hold, what, roughly 69,000 liters, I think we're holding in that, uh, in this loading wagon. Whereas, oh, we better put our indicators on here. Get our beacons on. There we go. Whereas, if we bailed it, we could probably get a little bit more uh, on a trailer, and it'd be a little bit quicker, of course, then, right? We wouldn't be stuck doing, like, 24, what are we, 24 miles an hour? Yeah, maybe it'd be more worthwhile to bail it. You know what, whatever, we'll finish this off today, but maybe for the next harvest. That's something to consider. Hey, pigs, suey, suey! Are you making your voice deeper? All right, that should be good enough for now. Uh, oh, we got all these trophies kicking around. Matsy! Uh, let's drop this back on in here. Fill this silo back on up. Get her nice and snug and in here. There we go. Open that on up. And, uh, we'll dump this in. Now, you know what? That's good enough for now. I'll worry about the rest of that straw later on. I want to worry about the cattle right away. Cattle are... They're not... They're okay. I just want to make sure they're fed, right? I gotta stay on top of that. Ooh, we might be full, actually. Best driver or trucker, Matsy. Well, this is a participation trophy, Matsy. This is not the real thing. This is a forgery. You are a fraud. You sit on a throne of lies. But um, our, our silo, she's full, folks. So whatever. It's okay. We can... Um, you know what? Let's fill up. We gotta fill up with some straw anyways. And this is the Challenger I was talking about, guys. The Challenger itself, it's a great tractor, but we're only sitting about 220 horsepower with this. It's a bit much for that, that uh, loading wagon causes some issues it can do it but barely so instead we use it for well a lot of stuff like this now i, I use it for planting of course it's a great planting tractor I use it to do some fertilizing as well it's got the narrows on it so uh we use it for that kind of stuff but it just doesn't quite have the uh the horsepower that that steiger hasn't i mean okay so the steiger is kind of our mid-size tractor at 450 horsepower to be honest it's Unfortunate that it's a Steiger, the fact that it articulates, because that gives, gives us so much grief. It would be nice if it was, if maybe if we went to a Magnum, uh, it might be a better, better suited for us. Um, there's the Versatile, more on that in a second. First off, let's, uh, let's load off. We got some straw in here. We got to get some TMR going here as well, and uh, get these guys all nice and plump. Nice and plump. Pull on in. A little bit of straw inbound. There we go. Perfect. Oh, I went too far. I went too far. Backing on up. Back on up. There we go. And unload. Whoa, 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 whoa. I do it again? No, no, no. Yeah, I did it again. I did it again. There we go. Whoa. 
She just likes to take off all of a sudden. As soon as we engage the PTO, something's going on with this. Oh, well. Seems to be working now. We'll let that go for the time being. Cool. So these guys are doing well. We've got our... What are we up to? Like 48 head of cattle now. We're slowly increasing the amount of cows we got on the farm. On the ranch here. The ranch is starting to... It's starting to boom a little bit, guys. Let's see. Let's take a look at our milk situation. Not a ton of milk yet. Only 12,000 liters. We'll let that build up for a bit. It's... uh. Yeah, come on, make me some more milk, would you? Seriously, let's go, get back to work. Straw's all good, let's not worry about that anymore. Let's get some uh, silage builds, let's make some TMR, and we'll get that out there as well. We'll start from this, yeah, we'll start from this side. Uh, actually, let me spin, no, 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 we'll leave it here, it's fine. I can't, I can't decide, guys, I can't decide. Let's get a little blue into action here, and uh, we'll pull some of these bales apart and get them up on top there. Let's unwrap these things. All right, so I just cut open a bale to, to, uh, to check it out, and... Um, yeah, it, it didn't stay packed together. Now, it, it does look like we got some uh, some silage all ready to go in here. But uh, the bales aren't staying together. Uh, did we forget to put, like, the, the twine around the bales? We just wrapped them somehow? I don't understand what's going on. You know what? We're just going to throw the bales in with the wrap on top. And then we'll get the, pull the wrapping out separate somehow. You know what? Don't, don't ask me how it works. It just does. It just works. It, it just works. Yeah, that was strange. Um, I, I don't know what to think of that, guys. Very bizarre. So we'll throw three bales in here for now. I'm going to need to get some kind of a bucket in order to pick that other silage that's there up, up there. Oh, easy, easy. In we go. Typically, we would wrap, unwrap the bales right here and then uh, not have to have the, the wrapping inside the mixer, of course. Oh, can I get two at the same time? Oh, two marshmallows. Perfect. But unfortunately, um, there's something. Did we not wrap the bales? Did we not twine those things beforehand? It seems like they're just falling apart as soon as I open them up. That is... Uh, not a good sign. You know what? As long as they're all silage, I don't care. Up we go. Let's see if I can not get stuck on top of it this time. There we go. Perfect. All right, little blue. That's all I need from you today. Let's put you over to the side here, and we'll uh, we'll go pick up some straw and some hay as well. Oh man, who parked this tractor like this? Oh wait, around we go. All right. Hay in first. Stop right about there. Give me that hay. That's better. And then finish off with a little bit of straw. Perfect. All right, guys. I think uh, we've got some TMR. We look like we're good to go. Let's go feed some cows. Let's go feed some cows. So this should be enough to last uh, a little while. I think we'll get a couple days out of this before we'll have to feed them again. Only the 40, what, 40 some odd head. I think it's 48 we're at right now. So it does last a decent amount of time. Looks like we got a trough with a decent amount in there already. But uh, let's let's keep on going here. There we go. Cow feed inbound. Hope you guys are yeah, I hope you guys are happy. Come on, make me some milk already. All right, guys, that should do for the feed. Now, I do need to take care of pigs at some point as well. Uh, our pigs, we're still buying food for them. I don't have a great sources for uh, all the different feed types for the pigs. <sighs> kind of a pain for the pigs, I have to admit. But we do have quite a few of them now. They're starting to build up as well. Let me put this thing back in the shed over here. Just get it out of the way. And uh, we need to get into our fields again and start replanting some stuff. All right, so that's enough for feeding. But like I said earlier... Versatile or the case, the Steiger. You know what? These are both great tractors, to be honest. The Steiger actually looks pretty big. I mean, look at the size of this thing. She is, uh, she's big, but it's only the 450 horsepower. This is a small, it's the smallest Steiger we could get when we pick this one up. It, it does, it fills a bit of a niche, to be honest, this size of a tractor. Typically, you're going to want to go with something a little bit bigger, I find. When you're going with, with a Steiger, I, I find usually going at least the 550, at least. Uh, I usually go all the way up in the 600 series. But that's where the Versatile has been kind of feeding us right now. Uh, we've got the big floaters on this thing, of course. Look at the size of those. And it's the 610 version. So, yeah, we got a few more horsepower on this for, well, some of the bigger... Did that chicken just warp through me? Come on, man. <laughs> but both of these will pull that big veil bin that we've got. The only thing that this Stagger really has some problems with is some of our plow equipment. They just turn in some dirt sometimes. It struggles with it. So I typically default over to the Versatile. And even when I'm using that big veil bin over there, guys, we end up going to the Versatile just to have that extra horsepower. Now, the Steiger needs a wash. Uh, the Versatile could use some maintenance, but um, it, it's going to have to wait. It's going to have to wait today. We got some other work. You know what? Something else that the Versatile is good for. Let's go do that, actually. Fire it on up. Oh, yes. Nice and easy. Let's, uh, let's get to work on this. I don't even let it warm up. Um, we do. I got to lime some fields quickly. And like I said, this big new leader lime, this machine here is super heavy uh those big twin tires on it guys that thing's super heavy so having the versatile for this is definitely worthwhile let's back this right on up against that hitch and actually for our uses this is actually one of the nice things 
uh, about the case. The case has got the three-point hitch where the Versatile does not, of course. However, the Versatile does have the PTO. So you don't have a three-point hitch, but at least you got a PTO at the back. Sometimes you get these big articulating tractors. You don't even get a PTO at the back for whatever reason they decided to go with that. But uh, fortunately, Versatile, that's not a problem. All right, so we've got this filled up with lime already. Let's go out in the field, drop some lime. Speeds, uh, however, are pretty much exactly the same. There's not much difference there. But uh, ride, very similar, I find, as well. But look at the size of this trailer, too. Ugh, I need to wash this stuff up, I guess. It's in pretty rough shape. All right, we got a bit of a trek. Uh, let's run this red light. No one's coming, right? Right across the red, down one more, uh, one more range road, and we'll be into the fields. All right, field, good to go. All plowed up. Let's uh, let's drop this tank in here and uh, get the heck out of here. It shouldn't take us too long. It's a good-sized field, but she ain't that big. One of our, it's one of our mid-sized fields out in the middle of nowhere. To be honest with you. It's one of the ones I try to avoid putting any kind of any kind of uh, bales or any kind of uh, straw on because it's so far away. So this usually ends up being one of our money crops, canola, soybeans, that kind of thing. Just because we're a bit of a track away from our main farm and I don't really feel like trekking that kind of stuff all the way back. We leave our wheat and we leave all our, uh, our oats and everything back closer to the farm just for that reason. And that there is all she wrote. Last little bit and we're back to the farm again. It's, it, I think it took us longer to drive out here than it did to actually lime this field. Oh well, what, what do you do? I'm not complaining, that's great. It's good timing. All the way done. All right, back to the farm we go. All right, versatile is done with the liming. Let's take the case out and do a little bit of planting. Zip this around. I should potentially cultivate that up, but I think we're gonna be okay. We got the Great Plains planter. Uh, now, the, the question was, what the heck am I gonna plant there? You know what? I, I was thinking about doing like a money crop, like I said. But I do need corn. I'm so so low on corn right now that uh, that's something I'm going to need to think about. So corn it is tonight, and we're going to get that planted up. Let's pull this back right on in. Nice and easy. Don't crash into anything. Man, this equipment's dirty. You'd think someone would clean some of this stuff every once in a while. I should really hire somebody for that. You know what? matsy has got his trophies all over my property. Maybe I should get him to clean my stuff for me. A funny feeling that would be a useless request, but you never know. All right, so this is already filled right up with seed. So I'm good to go. Let's get this out of here nice and easy. Make sure we get out of here. It's a little tighter than I was expecting. All right, up and around. There we go. It's kind of a bit of a bump right there. You got to watch out for. Excellent. Out of the farm and uh, back down across the county here where we go to that field again. Come on, chickens. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. <laughs> They're everywhere in this farmyard. All right, nice and easy. No traffic coming. Let's let's get out of here. All the way back down again. There you go. Steiger versus the Versatile today. And and don't you dare say Stara. Don't you dare say Stara in the comments. Seriously. All right. Into the field we go. Back at it again. Short, uh, we'll put a 20 minute drive all the way across here. It seems like this field's so far away. Unwrap that. It's funny those back wheels don't roll once we're dragging like that. You'd think they'd be touching, but I guess they are not. Don't need the indicators on anymore. Corn is good to go. Everything's set up now. The field's a little bit small. I'm not even using our GPS for this. Uh, no sense in putting GPS on this. We're going to have to do this all all by by feel. We're doing it by feel today. And uh, that's that's okay. It'll work just fine. Just take her nice and easy. And we'll get this field done in just a heartbeat. We do have a few more fields to take care of over here as well. Oh boy, those are some seriously powdered donuts right now. Look at those things. So the 450 does handle this just fine, guys. Like I said, it does handle most of the jobs. There's just the odd here ends here and there that it uh, it struggles a bit more than with that versatile. Now I could easily go up to a 650. We could probably trade this in, update to something bigger. But this is a great mid-range tractor for us, and it's actually a little bit more than that in a way. It's just interesting to have this size with only a 450 in it uh, versus some of the other stuff out there. I mean, we could have went with a Magnum, and probably got about the same. Well, I don't know. It's tough to say. At least with some of the Magnums, you do get a front uh, a front PTO as well. Not that we really need to have that for anything. This kind of is, is really much hitting that certain itch that we kind of need right now. Almost on the headland already. We'll get back on down the other side, and then uh, we'll just wrap through this field. And there we go. Last pass already. Like I said, we can get this field planted, limed, whatever, faster than we can get here. Uh, not quite done yet. I lied. I've got a little bit more. Lift that on up. One little bit here I think I missed. We'll make sure we get it all. Yeah, see, there's a bunch here I missed. Anyways, folks. Uh, I'm going to finish off the rest of the planting here. We got, like I said, another two more fields over on this neck of the woods, actually. I need to plant. Didn't need any lime, fortunately, but we do need to plant over here. So we'll take care of that. 
I uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Of course, if you, do, if you did, you know what to do. Slap the like. And of course, do consider subscribing if you've already made it this far. So you don't miss any other Farming Sim 19 and 22 content coming down the pipe here. Anyways, folks, I hope you have a fantastic day. And uh, yeah, come, come back to us when we're back here on the Oklahoma Cattle Ranch. We'll see you guys then. Have a great day, folks. This is Glutch. Over and out. Thank you.